Hi from CDRO's team, this is a demonstration video for rail trailer type E45-26-9DS. Please wait for us in the next In the front part of the rail trailer, the three out of four shafts are securely stored. The four shafts employ six conical nuts. Each shaft switches to the particular reel depending on the width and the central bore of the reel. Shafts can be safely locked on the reel trailer during reeling. Six wrenches are used in order to screw the conical nuts of the four shafts. Using the hydraulic controller stick, it is possible to bring the moving wheels close to the reel. Unfasten the butterfly screws of the moving wheels and shift the wheels at their appropriate position. Place the wheels on the reel in order to apply the needed pressure and subsequently rotate it. Adjust the rotating wheel speed with the flow regulator. In the case of reverse auxiliary rotation, shift the hydraulic controller stick in the opposite position. Before downloading the reel, the safety lens pin must be removed. The manometer shows the pressure of the oil pump while using the hydraulic joysticks. The valve with the R starts and stops the oil delivery of the right hydraulic cylinder. The valve with the L starts and stops the oil delivery of the left hydraulic cylinder. This allows the unilateral uploading and unloading of the reel. For reels weighted less than 2000 kg or 4400 pounds, it is possible to lift both front wheels. For lifting it is necessary to use the two Libra chocks which are stored at the front of the reel trailer as you can see. Remove the orange pin from storage board and place it to the upper board in order to use only one wheel per side. In this way you can make maneuvering easier during operation of the reel trailer with small reels or even without reel at all.